Several big tech companies use SQL to analyze the user data to drive their business decisions. Stay tuned to see how we queried and Microsoft's user data to better understand the customer behavior. The problem that we are solving today is premium versus freemium. Find the total number of downloads for paying and non-paying users by date. Include only records where non-paying customers have more downloads than paying customers. The output should be sorted by earliest date first and should contain three columns, date, non-paying downloads and paying downloads. There are three tables in total, MS user dimension, MS account dimension and MS download facts. Now, using these three tables, we are expected to calculate the total number of downloads that are being made by the paid customers and non-paying customers. Meaning, we know that Microsoft offers a lot of applications that can be downloaded, right? And these downloads are being made by free users and also premium subscribed users. What they want us to calculate is find the total number of downloads that are being made by the free users and also the premium subscribed users. Among these, return me only the rows where the maximum downloads are being made by the free users than the premium users. According to our approach, the first step of solving the query is understanding the inputs and the outputs. So in the MS user dimension table, we have user ID, account ID, and in the account dimension table, we have account ID, paying customer, and in the download facts, we have the date, user ID, and downloads. So my input columns are going to be paying customer, so that I can differentiate the paying and non-paying one, and the downloads, so that I can get the downloads, and then I'm going to use it per date because they want it by date. And I'm going to use this MS user dimension table to join these two tables, which is account dimension and download facts. So these are going to be my inputs. What are going to be my outputs? Three columns, date, non-paying downloads and paying downloads. So these are my inputs and the outputs. Now the second step of our approach is articulating the solution verbally to the interviewer. In our question, they've asked us to calculate the total downloads made by the paying users and the non-paying users, which means they want us to give separate columns for the paying users and the non-paying users. So what we are going to do here is for getting that specific column where we are considering whether the person has made the payment or not, I'm going to use a if condition which will take input as the paying customer. If the paying customer says yes, you consider the download value and if the paying customer says no, that value will become zero. Similarly for non-paying also, if the paying customer says no, that particular download value will be considered. If not, a zero will be assigned to it and they want the total downloads. So I'm going to make it sum of if condition so that total downloads uh, value is given to me. And the second thing that we also have to consider is they only wanted us to return the records where non-paying customers have more downloads than the paying customers. So for that, I'm going to use the having clause with these new columns. And I'm going to say non-paying is greater than paying, return only those records. And finally, they've also asked us to order by date. And since in the question they said they want this total uh, downloads made by the users by date, I'm also going to group by date. And finally, another thing that we also have to take into consideration is performing a join because paying customer date are coming from one table and downloads is coming from another table and these both don't have any common column. So we need to perform multiple joins between these three tables using the columns account ID and user ID so that we can get the final output which contains all these columns. So this is going to be my approach. Now the third step of our approach is constructing the query step by step. And the first part of our query construction is creating those new columns which is paying and non-paying using the if condition. So I'm going to say select date because they want it in the output and I'm going to say sum of if of paying customer is equal to yes then I want you to get the downloads if not zero and this column is going to be as paying comma 
I'm going to say sum of if of paying customer is equal to no, then I'm going to get the downloads. If not, it's going to be zero. So now I'm going to perform the join. Now I first want to get the MS download facts. Join MS user dimension on let me this seems to be a typo here i'll fix it on ms download facts dot user id is equal to ms user dimension dot user id and i'm going to perform another join join ms account dimension on ms account dimension dot account id is equal to ms user dimension dot account id so let me just run this real quick and as you can see this has given me the total sum now i have to get for each date right so for that i'm going to say group by date let me execute this as you can see for each date i've gotten the columns so i'll just simply give it a name as non paying now i have to give the clause having non paying greater than paying and i'm going to say order by date again so i'm going to run this piece of code as you can see these are the dates where the non paying users are having more downloads when compared to the paying users so yeah this is how you solve this kind of sql interview question if you want to check out how we solved an SQL interview question asked at Google, please click here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.